people welcome back to my youtube channel and today i have a very funny story of my first sponsor <laughs> so um after high school after form four um i to vlog at a big town nini dominic and eldoret my sister used to go to eldoret more university so i can never risk come to kaikai kushida kidogo Away from our parents, we just are getting ourselves in front of a kubo. Eh, so kubo, eka. We want to have a place where we can hang out. Yeah. So no, you mean we have to go there? Since I'm going to be like out. I'll go and play like when I'm out. Na dirani zake. My sister, my sister is uh, she's very hardworking because I remember uh, aki wa shule, aki wa campus, aku anaka kwa hostel. Ali kona nyumba ake, na nyumba ake kona TV, iko na speaker, iko na fridge. Because she used to work part time and also um, go to school. So she was okay. She was renting her own house. Na majina nizake actually walikuwa masonko masonko. Watu na magarizao. But most of them walikuwa bachelors. So kuna ujira niyake mengina kasema. Anataka kutupeleka out. Siasha wana mrembo wamefika kutoka ushago. Kienyezi. Fresh from the farm. Ha ha ha. No, your mimi, to can I do it? I mean, to can agree. We can be a Okay, we are going. Okay, so we be a carol. Ikuwa nataka kuni hook up na. Na wio jama, but he was way much older than us. So me na consider kama sponsor. Hmm. I think kata likuwa na watoto, lakini likuwa me kosa na na wife ya kesi, so likuwa me kujia kuka peke ya kesi. Vitu kaya story mingi, I can't remember very well. So we went out and then come back home. We took a enjoy, nene, and then I catch one and bang. So now we are moving. Kaza kuonge ane. I come to Gariake. Remember, we met at high school. I don't have anything to do. We met at two kwanyumba. All I do is watch movies. After watching movies, now we are in a pika. To nakatu, kwenye town, kutembea. Just you know, just knowing the city. Aya. Um, Ujama kanyambia, nikirudi joni toka job at five, ndakuwa na kutreni kuendesha gari. Alikuwa na gari, very nice, a pigeot. Akanyambia nikitoka job, ndakuwa na kuchukua. Ivo sasa nukukatia yake, ananipeleka round, ananifuza kudrive. Nani, true to the one, akakuja, joni, every joni ananichukua, ananipeleka round, ananifuza kuendesha gari, ananyambia vile mini mrembo, vile neza kuwa bibi yake, vile... Neza, aneza nilipia kunda shule, kusoma, whatever course I want, he can pay everything, anatafta tu, anataka tu minikuwe wake. Na mambea, okay, but you don't have to pay for my school fees because, you know, my dad will do that for me. But, unajua, si kwa nimejua ujanja ya town, unawana? Aya, ndiao sisi, kidogo kidogo, every Sunday, ananifosi niende nae kanisani, na nikienda kanisani lazima nivae kitenge. Ha ha ha! Kuna chachingina kwa Eldore Town, huko mbele, Catholic. Tukwa tunenda misa ya siju ya 9 to 10. Lazima niende na ye, lazima nivae kitenge. Alikuwa na nibaizo vitenge. Alafu ikifika, ikifika, sea kutoka church kurudi home, mino nikuwa na drive. So, even dalini, alikuwa na nitrain kudrive, ya. So, haka niona na kabambe, nilikuwa tu na simu tumba ya mbaya. So, kulikuwa na hii noke imetokea flip phone. Enyo kuchi nilikuwa inaka kama silver na juu silver, alafa po katikati black. Iyo simu ilikuwa moto. Hata ningelia aje, ningefanya nini, my dad will not buy that phone for me. It's like saizi, iPhone 14 nimetoka, na Kenya right now ni 235,000 Kenya shillings. Wambi babako kunulia, usimu hata kuliza. Am I going to pay your school fees or buy you an expensive phone? You study, you get your own job, and then you'll buy your own phone. You know what? Aya, yo simu ime toka. So, mi sikuwa, sikuwa na joy vo sana. Karoa kanyambia, mwambia kunulia, yo simu ata kununulia. Kwa suma, eh, yo simu ni expensive, we. Alafa ninunulia, alafa nze kudemand vitu. Akanyambia, wo sijali, we mwambia kunulia, yo simu. So, yo sikuwa kinipeleka jioni kudrive. Nika mwambia, mina taka simu nzuri. Simu mpia ni monanoke ime tokea. Hehehe. Sababu ni karali kwa asha nipeleka phone express, asha nionesha hiyo simu, asha nionesha bay na kila kitu. Aka nika mambea nataka simu poa, ndo kikuwa job, na piga picture, na kutumia, uone vile na car, tuneza communicate vizuri nini, akasema it's okay, I'll buy for you. 
he akaniambia okay basi twende town tukai buy tukienda na kumat hapo for express akaninulia simu na kanipea receipt ujinga ni sikuwa najua receipt inafai some jina yako sae ni mjanga of course ni muze receipt inasoma jina yake alikuwa anatoa siezi sema jina yake aya a receipt iko na jina yake na kaenda na hiyo receipt kwake mimi nikabaki bila receipt na simu ba box na charger peke yake na earphones aya nikaanza kutumia hiyo simu ah nikaanza kuwa busy nikaanza ku make friends nikaona ai there's more to just hanging out with this guy every evening kuendesha gari na kunibona stories zake sijui oh nini 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 kuna vitu naweza fanya naweza for a movie naweza kutembea town naweza so nikaanza ku avoid akaanza kuniambia rispa nimetangu nikubaye simu sikuoni kwani huyo ni nani anakusumbua na yani ana take my time from you nikamwambia no me niko na land the city cuz i'm planning to enroll for a course here in Eldoret hivyo so me niko busy naenda town kutafuta what i have to do with my life sikazi tu kukaa na kuendesha gari kila saa na kwenda church na kitenge aya nikaanza ku avoid nikaanza ku avoid aya ikafika time nili avoid sana na ni jirani yetu anakuja usiku kama tumelala na bisha hodi hodi mko mko tumenyamaza na mbia karozima simu kila kitu mtu asisikie kama tuko kwa nyumba alafu naika simu on silent akin text mko nyumbani anamwambia no tumetoka tumeenda pale asubuhi akienda job na tutoka kwa nyumba eh hey, ilikuwa tough aya siku moja nikambo akasema nimrudishie simu yake sasa mimi kaza kushangaa mbona ni mdishie simu na amenipea kama gift wezi pea mtu gift alafu baadaye ukuje waze kumwitisha like who does that you understand yeah so karaka kaniambia nani yako na receipt nikamwambia si alichukua receipt peko na jina yake akaniambia oh my god rispa you so silly mtu akikubaya kitu expensive make sure hiyo receipt inasoma jina yako na wewe ndio umeenda na hiyo receipt kwa nyumba ndio kikiumana hata kikupeleka kwa polisi waseme uko na simu yao una ukipresent hivi receipt receipt ni evidence na that's it hata kama umenunulia nyumba na umeka na jina yangu kuja uclaim baadaye i won't give you because it has your name hapo i hope me learn kitu aya akaanza kuitisha simu yake akaanza akaanza kunibo usiku anakuja kwa nyumba na bisha na nguvu na joko kwa nyumba nirudishie simu ama ukuje tuongee nini nini he was so petty alikuwa mfupi na utambi yani unajua watu wafupi tu wanakuwa nga so petty na wako na so many issues that's why in my life i've never dated a, a short man because yani watu wafupi mna issues mob mna boingi wako na insecurities so hizo insecurities zao zinafanya watoe kwa watu ah nikaboeka karoka niambia tuwezi mrudishie simu kama iko saa iko saa nikamuuliza saa tufanyeje akaniambia cha nikuoneshe so simu za kitabu siliko na jo you can open it up nyuma alafu utoe batteries ukishatoa batteries unaweza weka battery mpya vitu kama hizo akaniambia fungua hiyo simu kwa nyuma nikaifungua tukachukua kisu tuka dunga hiyo kisu hiyo phone ndani tulibambua tulibumbo so tukirudisha hivi beti tunajaribu kuwasha inawaka nasema hapana it doesn't have it, it has not it has to stop working so tukaidunga tukaidunga kisu tukaimwagilia maji tukaeka unga chapati ndani tukaiharibu a brand new phone tukieka hivi beti inasema yani haikuwaka ndo tukasema basi sawa he can come for his phone aya akakuja joni kubisha nikatoka hivi nje nikamwambia mbona unashindaka ukitubishia hapa juu ya simu eh ana in fact sitaki hiyo simu yako nikamwambia nitakuletea simu yako nika bang mlango nikafunga aya nikapatia just some kids hapo around kwa estate nikamwambia peleka hii simu kwa hiyo nyumba juu ningepeleka mwenyewe angejaribu kuifungua alafu apate vitu kwa zenye ziko ndani i'm sure maybe he'll get angry and slap or something nikapatia katoto kakapeleka he akani text baadaye oh maribu simu yangu maidunga dunga sasa hii hazifanya mtanilipa mtanipatia pesa yangu ah sitangua kanembea chana na yeye tuta move so tuka move from that estate tukaenda kwa estate nyingine hivyo ndio akacha kunisumbua nika block na kwambia those are sponsors from hell yani mtu anataka tu time yako anataka tu life yako i revolve around them anaona ni kama una anything else to do other than just to be with him eh nikasema no i'll just have to work hard for my money i'll get myself a phone and no man has to buy for me a phone then you demand aniambie what to do no 
I learned from that uh, experience that you just need to make your own money and buy your own stuff. Ama, okay, buy kitu na mbabas. Make sure receipt ni yako na jina iko ni yako. That's why mkiko sana aezi kuja kwa kwanze kukusumbua. Yeah, so that's my my story from my first sponsor. Just <laughs> mwende mwaribu my phone 14, eh? Your time's phone na iko expensive, iko ma 12k, iko ma 15,000. So, iko that expensive. But don't spoil your phones. Just make sure simu zenu ziko na jina zenu. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share it to your friends. And tell me about your first experiences with these guys on the comment section so that we can laugh together. I love you all. Take care. <laughs>